Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Alright fishy folks, it's going to be a busy weekend in the fish room. I'm going to try to film everything I do. It may be a two part or a three part series. i got to move a bunch of tanks. Well, fish into different tanks. Um, I want to do a deep cleaning, which I haven't done in a really long time. And open up my present. Tyler from Fish Freaks Plus has sent me a package. I'm going to set up the tripod and uh, let you guys watch. I don't know what he sent me. So uh, it's going to be a surprise for both of us. So hang tight. All right, fishy folks. First, I want to apologize for my voice. I'm sick. I think I have a sinus infection, at least. WebMD says either I have a sinus infection or I'm dying. So I'm going to go with sinus infection. No, uh, I don't know. I'm sick. My sinuses hurt. My throat hurts. Um, that's enough about me complaining. Let's see what we got, shall we? Packing paper. Oh, snap. That's what I wanted the most. Fish Freaks Plus tank stickers woohoo all right check check it out the first thing premium fry powder 60% protein baby whole krill meal fresh brine shrimp spirulina it's got some good stuff second Premium Krill Crumble. I asked for this. I asked him to make this, actually. I don't know how many other people asked him, because I'm sure he wouldn't make it just for my sorry ass, but... Ingredients, whole krill meal, whole fish meal, herring and cod, lots of vitamins, some wheat, guaranteed analysis, crude protein, 47%, baby. Like it. I like it. So the size is 0.2 to 0.5 millimeter. You know what this is going to be good for? Guppies. Speaking of guppies, Fish Freaks Plus Premium Guppy Flake. I know I asked him for this too. Again, you guys know Tyler sends me food to try, and I love it. And I talk about it because I love it. And I'm pretty sure you guys know by now, pretty honest. The fish thighs, I show you. If I don't like something, I tell you. I like this. So Fish Freaks Plus Premium Guppy Flakes. Whole salmon fish meal. Whole krill meal. Whole wheat. Kelp. Soy flour. Oh. Maybe my Japanese fish will like it. Alright. That might have been insensitive. Sorry. 44% uh, protein. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. Looking forward to trying that. When I say trying that, I mean the fish, not me. Then we have Fish Freaks Plus Premium Community Bites. Uh, half mil size, whole herring meal, whole shrimp meal, whole squid meal. Wow. 46% uh, protein. I'm going to try those today, I think, for breakfast. Oh, snap. Premium beef heart flake for all you discus lovers out there. Whole salmon meal, beef heart, whole shrimp meal, lots of whole good meal. 44% protein, 8% fat, nice. And finally, what I've, I know I asked for also, premium blackworm flakes. 43% protein. Fresh California blackworms. Salmon meal is the first ingredient. I mean, fresh California blackworms. Lots of good stuff. Dried brine shrimp. Spirulina. Nice. All right. What shall we try first? I don't know. Where are we going to put this box? We're just going to move it out of the way for now. We're going to look at the premium community bite size. You probably can't see. That was stupid. It's pretty tiny. I like it. 
So, it's small enough for a fry, for guppy fry. Um, all the live bear fry I have, it's probably small enough for, for at least for them to, you know, eat like an apple. Like, they take a bite and then it drops and they pick it up and take a bite. Um, and that's my problem. A lot of the, the really, really good, high quality stuff is big, ginormous pellets. So... Um, yeah, pretty happy about that. And let's look at the Guppy Flake. Because, you know, I do have a crap ton of Guppies. So, the flakes are a little large. <laughs> but basically, that's good. That means that they were, they were packed well uh, in this fancy red bag. And they were packed well in shipping. So, you know, uh, they, they're not crushed up. Because some people don't like them crushed right away. I do crush them when I put them in. Because... You know, mmm, delicious. No, I'm not trying it. Shut up. All right, folks. I'm gonna feed some fish. I'm gonna film me feeding some fish, and then I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna do next. Stay tuned for fast motion, baby. All right, fishy folks. I just fed the premium community bites to all the little fish, or fish tanks with fry in it, because as you know, I community breed most of my fish and uh, everybody seemed to like it everybody seems to love it oh, I forgot to tank hold on all right now we're gonna go with something bigger what did I open guppy flake guppy flake it is for the bigger fish stand by for fast motion again did you just say you're gonna feed Guppy Flake to Big Fish? You can't do that, it's Guppy Flake. Watch me. That's it for feeding. Fish Freaks Plus Premium Guppy Flake. Everybody I fed it to has seemed to like it. In fact, in this tank of tangerine platies, boom, gone, they're piggies. Uh, these angels down here liked it. In fact, let's take you in, let's take you to show you. Stand by. So, catch all angel tank, <coughs> which may or may not be this tank later. Um, with lots of filters just chilling. Uh, you can see most of the angel flake is gone. All of the not angel flake, most of the guppy flake is gone. This tank is messy. Yeah, everybody like Wow, look at all those <clears throat> pink pastel steel nebula or butterfly guppy fry. That's pretty nice. <clears throat> yeah, so everybody loves the food. Um, the second electric blue ram that was in here did not look good yesterday, and now I don't see him. I'm going to have to take a look. I don't see him. All right. Uh, so the plans for today. I got to move these guys into a bigger tank. I got to move these guys into a bigger tank. Now, somebody suggested a dollar per gallon sale. It's not that I don't have tanks. I have at least four 20s of 15 that's already drilled, a couple 10s. <clears throat> I have tanks. I just don't have space for them. Um, for a minute, I considered taking down that 40 and putting 220 highs there because that would fit like over there and then I could also fit a 10 um, that would be a ginormous pain in my hiney and I don't know if I want to do that right now it's not to say I'm not going to do it or I'm not going to do it ever but that would involve drilling tanks building bulkheads adding drains and I just don't know if I feel good enough to do that today so in the meantime I'm going to put these in a 10 because these are ready to go they're not going to breed I'm going to sell them next week or the when I get back from my business trip. That's right, I'm going away again. I'm going to try to uh, try to film enough video, though, so I have videos all week. And if I can find a local fish store and have the time, I will definitely go. When I'm pretty sure the last time I was in Albany, I went to Albany, New York. The last time I was there, I looked. I didn't see anything close. Let's just look at all these fry. That's, I love that. Love it. So we gotta move those, these, and these. So one of those two is gonna go in that, that bigger tank. That's easy. Uh, 
I may move the mutt guppies into a 10 gallon. I can do that. The problem with that is, to be quite honest, and I think I talked about this in another video, catching fish out of that top rack is not the easiest thing to do. It's sort of a pain in the arse. And the reason is, because of the lights and everything else that's on top of the tank, the angle of your net sometimes becomes difficult to manipulate. <clears throat> that said, I might not have a choice. Um, quite frankly, these rams are frustrating me, so I may take this whole tank out and uh, bleach the tank. That's also a lot of work, but I need the space. Part of me doesn't want to. Part of me wants to just keep trying with rams. I was successful early on, at least with free swimmers, until they ate them. Um, but I don't know. Either way, I'm, I'm, before I put any new fish in there, I gotta bleach that tank because I don't know what's in there. So, stand by for that. Um, I do have another 10 gallon up here with one angel in it that I'm gonna put in the angel catch-all tank, I think, until I can find a pair. Um, so that that could free up another tank, but I don't I don't know what I'm gonna put in there. Um, actually, I do know I'm gonna put in these purple deltas since I lost my females. I'm gonna be ordering some. Uh, from Daniel Anderson over at Hypnotic Aquatics. He breeds these guys and I need some females, so hopefully I can get him to send me some females. If not, I will purchase a trio and go from there. How about, how about that double red Episto male? Is that not stunning or what? Look at him. He's badass. All right. Um... Oh, somebody's checking out the cave. Oh, I think that's just, yeah, that's just a dither, dither fish. So, do you think that one right there is a male or a female? The one right in the middle that just swam away. It w they were sold to me as a trio, and that one really appeared to be a female up until about a week ago. Now it looks like it could be a male. I don't really know. Let me know what you think. All right, so, where were we? Moving fish. So I'm going to move these into a 10. I'm going to move the tangerine pliers into a 10. That takes, that kind of takes care of what I want. So what do I put here? Do I put the mollies here? Do I put the sword tails here? Or do I put the platies here? Not mollies. It's early. I'm sick. Not mollies. Peppermint platies or pink panda platies. I think I'm gonna put those down there. And I'm gonna put these uh, high fin layer tail sword tails, sanke, which means three colors, in this tank. Because then there's orange and orange, and I won't, you know. Yeah, that's cool. I'm gonna swap filters too. I like those box filters, except fry can get stuck in them, I believe. And these guys, I'm not gonna put any cover. I mean, maybe I'll put a little cover in there, but in case they drop fry, but I don't, I'm not looking for any more. All right, guys, that's my plans for now. More than likely, you'll see that another day. Oh, it's like, it's like I, I set you up to watch another movie. So these guys are gonna spawn today. That's, that, if you have a pair of angelfish and they're doing that and they're colored up, like look at that female, she's like, look at me, I'm sexy. With her stripes and all, yeah, that means they're gonna spawn. I thought these guys wanted to spawn and maybe they did and I just didn't see the eggs and now they ate them But usually their eggs they let their eggs grow for a while before they eat them uh, Yeah, so the plan is to gravel back all these tanks Maybe get an algae scrubber and clean up some of the diatoms um, I Gotta fix this filter. It's been like that for two days now, but how about those steel nebula guppies, huh? Stunning, right? Yeah, that's right. If you have fish and they don't look great, maybe you're not changing water enough. Maybe you're not feeding high quality enough food. Take a curry, for instance. It's not bad food. I've used it for years. However, it's not high, high quality food. It's just good food. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. All right, peeps. I'll be back shortly. <laughs> That was tasty. What did I say we're gonna try? The guppy flake, right? We're gonna try the guppy flake. 
But it's just a bit of head of it. All right, fishy folks. <clears throat> Not Molly's. It's tired. I'm. It's holy Jesus. <laughs>